Hey third grade, this is Mrs. Bell here with your week two lesson. So today we're going to talk about that new note that we learned way back before um, we started working a lot on our program music. So we learned about a new note that happens when you take the first half of TT and the second half of Tikka Tikka and you add them together. It creates a new note that we call T Tikka. So I'm going to read a few rhythms and have you read them back to me and then I will have you read them and then I will speak it after you have read it so you can see if you got it right. So first you're just going to echo back to me just like you would in music class. T T T Tikka T T Ta T Tikka T Tikka Ta Ta I don't know if you guys, I'm in a different room. I don't know if you can hear Zoe screaming in the living room, but she's making a bunch of noise in the, in the living room. <laughs> I'll read this one. You read it back to me. T ticka, T T ta. So now I'm going to have you guys, you practice it. And then after you've practiced it, I will tell you how it goes. Ready? Here you go. This one says, T ticka T ticka T ticka ta. Your turn, ready? Here you go. This one says, Ticka ticka T ticka T T ta. Your turn, ready? Here you go. This rhythm says, Ta ta T ticka ta. Your turn, here you go. This one says, T ticka, ta. So I see lots of funny things when I have students who are writing rhythms and writing T tickas. So today I'm just gonna have you practice making T tickas. So when you're drawing a T ticka, there's about four steps. So first thing you'll do is you'll draw your three lines. One, two, three. And you'll notice when I draw my three lines, I always leave a little less space in here because this is your T and here's your Tikka. So you want your Tikka right here to be a little bit closer to each other. Step two, you're gonna connect all three lines at the top. That is called a beam. When we put a line connecting all of them, that's called our beam. Step three, connect the last two lines. So we put another beam right here. And then step four, add the note heads. So the note heads, one, two, three, go like that. Sometimes when I have students draw t ticka, I see something that looks like this. They draw like a big TT and then they put a little like square right here. That is not what a tea ticka looks like. As you can see, what we have missing, let me change my pen color. Um, let's go black. What we have missing is this line right here. Okay, and that would make it correct. So now I'm going to have you guys, you're going to go on to the class kick assignment and practice drawing tea tickas. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Got it right here. So here it is. I show you the steps at the top. Draw your three lines. Step two, connect all three lines at the top. Then step three and four, connect the last two lines and add the note heads. So when you're practicing, you can use a pen. And this is on my laptop, so it's gonna be a little bit choppy. On these lines, you're going to draw your three lines. Then you connect all of them at the top. You put this beam right here, and you would color in your note heads. It'll be easier for you because you have your finger. And at the bottom, make a rhythm with T ticka. You can use any of the notes below, but it must have a T ticka somewhere and be four beats. So on each line, you'll write one note. And then that's all you have to do. You guys know that if you want, you could um, do the raise your hand to turn it in, but you don't have to do that. I can automatically go on and see. 
In fact, I'll show you real quick what it looks like. So um, let me show you on a second grade assignment. I can click on view work and it shows me everybody's paper right here so I can see what you have done, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to necessarily turn it in, I'll automatically get it. So that's all I have for you, um, third grade. Please, if you haven't already, join my Google Classroom and then you can ask me questions in there if you want. I hope you guys are having a good day.